For practice itself, check 2.18 times operator. We are told to suppose a real number variable x is defined. So you have something like int x is equal to 9. We need to write a single Java statement that stores as a variable y the result of the computation below, modifying the expression to use the times operator exactly four times. So we know our y is going to be a double. So we can say double y is equal to and then we notice that the only thing that doesn't have an x in here is 34.2. So we can write out 34.2, and we're finished with that part. Next, we have, well, it's easiest to start from the beginning here. Um, we can throw a plus right here because it's being added. And in here, we will have parentheses. We're going to have that 12.3 needs to be multiplied by x. So we can say x times 12.3 and then outside of here we can have the rest of our x's so we have x times x times x times and this is going to give us 12.3 x to the fourth because all of these are going to factor in here now we want 9.1 to only be x to the cubed so instead of making it with this 12.3 we can have it as a negative and then 9.1 next to it. That way it still has these x cubes factored into it. However, this x right here does not get factored into it. Next, we have 19.3 x squared. So we have two x's after 19.3. So if we close this off with parentheses, we can add 19.3 like this. That way, when these two outside x's get factored in, it only becomes x squared here, and these x's right here don't mess with our 19.3. Lastly, we have negative 4.6x. So we can do the same thing where we surround this with parentheses, and then just subtract 4.6 like this. From here, our x only goes factoring into the negative 4.6 once. And all of these x's are going to be in this part right here. If we submit this, it runs and we passed all of the tests. A summary of this would be that we are having a variable double y and we're setting it to equal to x times x times x times x. We need four x's because our highest power here is x to the fourth. And we start looking from the highest values to the lowest values with the x. First, we have 19.3. And since it's the only one with x to the fourth, we are going to multiply it by x straight away. Next, we have these three x's that are going to be factored into this 9.1, which will give us x cubed. And then outside of that, we have 19.3. So these x's will be factored into our 19.3, giving us x squared. Outside of this, since negative 4.6 only has one x, we, we use parentheses to close it off, and we have this x, which will be factored into it. So we'll get negative 4.6x, and then lastly, we have 34.2.